and welcome to Peculiar Journeys with Pastor JL. I'm Pastor JL. This is my peculiar journey. Today, we're in my office on the floor. Look, it says joy. That's exciting. Hey, my friends from Texas. Hello, everybody. Hello, Gaeta family. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Mom. Glad you're with me today. Feliz Navidad! Christmas is almost here. You guys can see my... Let me try to point. There we go. Bob the tomato, Larry the cucumber, because you got to have veggie tails, you know, Christmas. It's fun. Okay, today we're going to talk about a plant, but not just any plant. It is known as the Christmas plant. That's right. You guessed it. And even if you did, didn't guess it, I'll tell you. It's the poinsettia, or some people call it a poinsettia. I don't know. There's there's an eye in there somewhere. So I say poinsettia. Anyway, we're talking about this plant today. Ooh, ah, this is not real. This is real fake. See? Real fake. It's okay. All right. Fun facts about poinsettias. Here we go. I looked it up on the internet. <laughs> okay. But this one I do trust a little more. It's from the Future Farmers of America. So here's what they say. Poinsettias, did you know? Poinsettias are native to Mexico. Did not know that. The ancient Aztecs uh, used uh, poinsettias to make red dye, and they turned to poinsettia sap to control fevers. Huh, fun fact. That's amazing. We've got Sarah and family. Hello, Emma. Hello, Daniel. All right, contrary to popular belief, uh, poinsettias are not poisonous. But it says while some humans and pets are sensitive to the plant's milky white sap, um, which contains latex, it is not toxic. It can, however, cause irritation to the skin, eyes, mucous membranes, or digestive system if consumed. In other words, don't eat the poinsettia. Just don't do it. Like, it'll make your stomach not happy. And that, you don't. Know, keep your stomach happy, friends. Okay. Poinsettias aren't always red. The plant is grown in more than 100 varieties, including shades of white, cream, pink, purple. I want a purple poinsettia, I'm just saying, okay. Um, orange and yellow. There also may be some that are marble or multicolored. That is super exciting. Um, and the showy, colorful part of the poinsettia, so like this, like the leaves, right? Um, they actually, this isn't the flower. It's a modular leaf called Brax, B-R-A-C-T-S. That's interesting. Often mistaken for the flower, but the flower, you guys, is this part. Like these little yellow parts that are all clustered together, that's actually the flower. And then these parts are just leaves. So they're not even petals from the flower, they're leaves. But they're like cool looking leaves. So that's something else that's interesting. Another fun fact, poinsettias need both sunshine and dark nights to bloom. The shorter days and longer nights of the fall and early winter are what cause poinsettias to bloom this time of year. However, if they are planted near artificial light, such as a street lamp, it disrupts their blooming cycle. So they need real natural sunlight in order for them to like grow normally. And December 12th, which is this Sunday, is National Poinsettia Day. So, Miss Wendy, if you know a person who needs a poinsettia, buy him one, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying. No, it's National Poinsettia Day, so get your poinsettias. You heard it here. Okay. Um, it it uh, marks, uh, so anyway, that's, that's that date, this Sunday. California is the top poinsettia producing state. Did you know that? Poinsettias are commercially grown in all 50 states. Other top poinsettia producing states include North Carolina, Texas. Hey, that's for you. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's for you, Sabet Damani family. Uh, Florida and Ohio. Poinsettias can grow up to 15 feet tall in their native tropical environment in Mexico and Central America. Poinsettias are a perennial woody shrub that grows as high as five, not five, 10 <laughs> to 15 feet tall. More like a small tree than a house plant. Okay, true story. We have a poinsettia that my mom planted um, in our front yard, and that thing is a tree. It really is. It's a, it's a little small tree, not, not 10 feet, but... Um, Maybe like two, um, but it's it's a little tree, and so that's fun. Okay, so now you're like, Pastor Jail, how are you going to connect the plant to the Word of God? Watch this. Okay, 
So you know how I said that poinsettias aren't poisonous, but like they're actually like they the white sap has latex in it that's toxic. And like if you eat this, like don't do it because you probably get really sick and um, you might see the poinsettia again if you know what I mean. Here's the thing, looks pretty on the outside, but on the inside, is it pretty? No, it's not pretty to you. So what does the word of God say about that? Okay, we're going to 1 Samuel chapter 16. Here's the story. So you have the prophet Samuel. Prophet Samuel, he's going around and he's like, all right, Lord, who is the next king of Israel going to be? And like, there's all these like really good looking guys. And he's like, that guy's good looking. He's got to be the king. That guy's strong. He's got to be that king. And like on the outside, totally made sense. Totally made sense. However, let's see what happens. First chance, Samuel chapter 16, verse seven. But the Lord said, hey, anytime the Lord speaks, I make sure I want to listen for sure. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider how handsome or tall he is. So he's like, don't look at how tall or how like, good looking he is, right? I have not chosen him. What? The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outside of a person, but the Lord looks at what is in the heart. Mmm, good word, Lord. So here's the scoop. Poinsettias, hey, it looks good on the outside. But on the inside, if you eat it, well, this one's not real. But if you eat a real one, that's not going to be good for you. Because what's on the inside isn't good for your insides. So looks good on the outside, not good on the inside. So here's what I want for all of us. Let's look good on the outside but most importantly let's look good on the inside meaning let's make sure that our hearts are right with god especially like especially always <laughs> really let's make sure that our hearts are pure our hearts are good with god and if there's anything in us that is poisonous or anything in us that should not be there Let's ask God to remove it and to make us have a pure, clean heart. Okay? Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you, God, that you are so awesome. And God, thank you that you look at our hearts. You don't look on the outside of us and judge us that way, but you judge the heart, Lord. You see and you know what is inside of our hearts. So God, today I ask you, Lord, help us to have pure hearts. Clean hands and pure hearts, Lord Jesus. Lord, we want... We want to be one with you, God. We want to be righteous. That means we want to be in right standing, good standing with you, Lord God Almighty. We love you and we thank you. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, friends. Have a beautiful day. Remember that every day with God is an adventure. So let's live God's adventures together. I uh, will see you next time on Peculiar Journeys with Pastor JL. See you later, guys. Bye.